Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Red Velvet Love Kit in collaboration with A2 House. So this kit itself retails for 60,000 won, which in today's exchange rate is about 56, 57 US dollars. You get five of the matte chic lip lacquers and then six photo cards. It was actually hard to find the actual kit itself online because I do live in the United States. Not on A2's house English website. We'll link down below a couple of websites I found it on, although the shipping for those are kind of expensive. I personally purchased mine off of G Market, which G Market has like really good coupons, but they also have very expensive shipping, which I guess kind of evens out at the end. But their shipping is pretty quick. This came in six days. That's pretty quick from South Korea to the United States. I think I'm gonna open the photo cards first. So first up we have all the girls. This is made out of like a credit card material. And then here we have Joy, Irene, Sogi. Oh man, Sogi looks so good with bangs. Whenever I see her with bangs, like I want to get bangs myself. <laughs> Wendy, and then we have Yeti. I love his hair color. And I think there's like a coupon on the back, 2000 won, which is like I think less than two US dollars. But yeah, that's the photo cards. You know, they're really nice material. Um, again, they feel like a credit card or like a good quality gift card. Curious, like what do you guys do with your photo cards? I feel like if I was in middle school, I'd put this in my locker or in like the clear pockets of binders. But I think I'd probably put this in one of my photo boards or something. I don't know. And now let's get on to swatching the lipsticks. Before getting to the swatches, I wanted to show you guys the claims on the Etude House website. So it's supposed to be a long-lasting lip locker that keeps the lips matte and less smudged or smeared as rich color pigment is fixed fast upon application. It's currently on sale for $11.50. There are 12 colors and if you scroll down you can see that these are supposed to be smudge proof and water resistant. So I have very high hopes for these. I'm going to swatch PK003 Yeti Pink. Oh shit. I spent like 10 minutes snatching this nose. God damn. I'm gonna apply these as I'm gonna take a lip brush and line the edges of my lips and then fill it in with a brush. Notice the applicator is quite long and the tip is very flexible. It is shaped like a weird chair or something, I don't know. Okay, so this is PK003 Yeri Pink. It's kind of a darker shade of pink, but it's still like a very intense, bright coral color very pretty. I like it. Now that the lipstick has fully dried down, let's test to see if these are kiss proof. Nothing. Now I'm going to remove it. My favorite makeup remover is the Philosophy it Just Release Me. I like this more than the Clinique one, the Lancome one, makeup wipes in general, and I'm going to use a microfiber cloth. You can get a two pack of these at the Dollar Tree, and to me they work really really well. Let's see how these remove. Well, it's actually coming off pretty easy. And now I have lipstick all over my mouth, but it came off relatively easy. I didn't have to go and scrub at my lips for a super long time. I'm gonna go ahead and just cover my lips with foundation around my mouth as well as on my lips before I will be swatched the next.
So this is what Joy Grapefruit looks like. Looking at it on the lips, it definitely is a lot redder than Yeti Pink. So although they kind of swatch similarly, they do look quite different on the lips. And let's do a kiss test. Nothing once again. These feel pretty comfortable so far. So we have RD302 Soggy Burgundy. I know with these kind of burgundy, deeper berry type of colors, can tend to be patchy, so typically I'll either use like a lip liner or do two coats. So let's see. So this is a Sulky Burgundy, and for a dark lip color, it applied super nicely. The color is very even, it's not patchy at all, so I am very impressed, and this color is really pretty. Next up is RD303 Irene Red. This is Irene Red. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do a really good job lining my lips on this one. Slightly deeper red, but it has like a lot of pink to it. Let's do a kiss test. Yep, just like all the others. And then lastly, we have BR401 Wendy Brown. Now this is more of a My Lips Wet Butter color, so I think I'm gonna just apply this straight from the applicator. This is Wendy Brown. Ooh, this color is super pretty. Um, it applied really nicely. It is like a deeper pink color that does have a bit of that kind of like cool brown undertone to it. And I think I'm probably gonna wear this one for the wear test because um, you know I have it on right now. I think it matches my makeup the most. Pretty good. So yeah. Okay. So it's currently 11:04. Okay. So I'm gonna have a drink of water. Because in the commercial, Joy was like drinking, I don't know, like orange juice or something. Um, and by the way, it's kind of funny how monotone they were in the commercial. Oh, nice catch. So let's have a sip and see. And nothing. So far, it's holding up really, really well. It is currently 4.41. I'm having a late lunch because I was busy filming this video lunch and having chips and salsa i was gonna have guacamole but this avocado is not ripe by the way the best tortilla chips are these late july tortilla chips they are so 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 good it is currently 8 11 i'm about to have dinner um, but before that, I want to show you guys how the lipstick is wearing. Everything still looks really, really good. It doesn't feel dry or uncomfortable whatsoever. I am really, really impressed by this formula so far. So, For dinner, um, I'm just having brown rice, green beans, mashed potatoes, um, and roast beef with onions. So the food isn't too greasy, although the mashed potatoes and beef probably are but yeah i'll let you guys know how it holds hey guys so it is currently 9 45 so i think it's been in total about 11 hours of wear and i am so so impressed by this formula but let me zoom you guys in 
hopefully you can see that it did wear again in the inner corners and in the most inner part of my lip but everything looks really good the color is still there it doesn't look flaky cracky crusty dry anything like that it still just looks really smooth and matte i gotta say just based on this wear test today this has got to be one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas i've tried and i'm really glad because I'm not going a lot of times a lot of celebrity endorsed products can be kind of hit or miss but this is definitely a hit they apply nicely they wear nicely they last really well they're very comfortable definitely want to pick up more colors now even if red velvet didn't work with a tude house on this i still feel like i would like it just as much right before i finish this video i just want to see how well layers on top of itself Yeah, layered on top of itself beautifully and smoothly no problems whatsoever thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time bye